morning, friends, adventurers, and fellow road trippers. Yes, that's right, you're coming on a road trip with me today. We are driving from Orlando-ish all the way to the Florida Keys. Okay, it's bright enough to say hi now. You guys missed a magnificent sunrise, holy moly. I really need to get a GoPro so that I can share my drives with you guys better than just using my phone. But I love this time of day. And as much as I hate driving at night, like I despise as soon as it gets dark, I hate driving in the dark. But early morning before the sun comes up is my favorite time to get on the road. Especially when I'm going somewhere fun. I'm looking over there at the different colors from the sunrise. Um, aside from the fact that, knock on wood, there's usually never traffic this early in the morning. <laughs> um, it's just so pretty. Everything is just so quiet and you get to kind of see the world wake up with you. It's like just a little hint of color starts and and then you see a little bit more and a little bit more and you kind of have that anticipation of is it going to be a dud sunrise? Not that any sunrise is a dud, but you know what I mean. Like is it going to be boring? Is it going to be super colorful? Is it going to be just kind of anticlimactic, you know? Anyways, that's how I feel about sunrises. So I just love driving, even though I can't film it or share it with you. It's just so enjoyable. Um, for somebody who says that they hate, hate driving, I really, really love road trips. It's super early in the morning, I know I'm weird. But anyways, I did fill up my tank. Um, Air's good, although <laughs> I did have to turn around once because I realized that I left my emergency car kit at, in the garage at my home base. So, of course, that's an important thing to have when you're taking a long road trip. So, luckily, I remembered right away to turn my butt around and got it. Um, but I think that's the only thing I forgot. I guess we'll find out. Um, I have my fridge plugged in to the Jackery, of course. Um, I just keep that plugged in 24-7 to the Jackery, and I do have the Jackery charging. Um, so it should be, I checked it to make sure everything was connected. It should be at 100% when we finally get there. Um, I do have hookups. I have electric and water, but I don't normally use them. I'm going to be at two different sites, actually, because I got a waterfront site for one of the nights. The reason I need a GoPro, a whole herd of wild hogs just came out from the trees, parading right near the highway. I mean, not that, you know, having a ton of wild hogs is a great thing since, you know, invasive, blah, blah. But still, something kind of cool to have on film. <sighs> I always miss the good stuff. <sighs> oh, do you guys see why I love this time of day? I mean, look at that sky. How can you get bored driving? looking at the road when the sky in front of you looks like that. Oh, I love it. Love it.
just checking in. I switch it up every once in a while instead of the chocolate chocolate chip breakfast granola bar. I'm having an iced oatmeal cookie one, but it's organic, so it's, you know, healthier than my normal choice. And peach seltzer, Waterloo. Funny story. I always talk about polar ice and how they should sponsor me because polar ice is the best. There's no polar ice. I realized the other day, it's just polar. So not only have I been saying their name wrong the whole time, <sighs> but anywho, they were out of that one at the store. So I tried this and it's really good. I would definitely recommend. I just stopped for a pee break at one of the service plazas. I think I'm at the West, no. I passed the West Palm Beach one already, I think. Oh no, I'm losing my bar. Um, anywho, I'm just south of the West Palm Beach one, I think. Whatever that service plaza is. Stopped to use the restroom. Grabbed the seltzer out of the back, out of the fridge. Grabbed my breakfast out of my snack bag. And kind of stretch my legs a little bit, so... I am ready to hit the road again. I think I'm about 60-ish miles from my first stop, so getting close. All right, check in later. Your destination is on the right. Holy moly, those are some big ass iguanas. Did you see that one yawn? I'm thinking these guys should probably pick a different spot to stand. Freaking cool is that tree. I've always wanted to see one in person. All right, I got the strawberry pineapple mango shake, which is fruit and ice, and I got it sweetened with honey. It's good. Expensive for, well, I mean, I wouldn't normally pay $10 for a drink, but 
it's only fruit and ice. They didn't put anything else in it except a little honey, so. Mm -mm. So good. All right, first destination down and we are gonna take our very first trip to the Everglades. I'm so excited, you guys. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find our first wild crocodile. Highway 93.36. We should be to the visitor center around 10.30. So, um, and then it's about 45 minutes to Flamingo Visitor Center and Campground before we back. Take the next right onto State Highway 93.36. There it is. Five miles away. Even though Greta wants to rain on my parade and not let me announce it. Whatever, Greta. Continue on State Highway 9336 for eight miles. All right, sassy pants. Okay, so we're almost there. I will check in with you when we get there. I might have to like, you know, hit record if I'm able to and run in front of the car to get a selfie with the sign. We'll see. I don't want to, if there's like a line or something, I'm not going to because I get, it's, it's not stage fright, but whatever the equivalent of stage fright would be, filming, vlogging, selfieing fright in front of other people, I feel silly. I know I need to get over it if I want to do this full time, but baby steps. Oh, hello. Alrighty, see you in a bit. Oh, I wish. Do you guys see that sign for Panther Crossing? Man, talk about would that make my, I would say year, but that would make like my decade. I'm pretty sure it's way too early. I was going to say early. I'm pretty sure it's way too late in the morning for me to have a hope or a chance at seeing one now, but, oh, that would make me so happy. Okay, I'm gonna do it, you guys, because I'm a dork. Another national park. All right, let's do this. All right, let's see. Visitor center, park headquarters. All right, I'm gonna pee again. Finish my smoothie. Actually, I'm gonna bring my smoothie with me, but I am gonna switch to my sneakers. In 1,000 feet, turn left toward State Highway 9336. Oh my gosh, I know what I'm doing, Greta. I'm following directions. All right, so. I'm at the main visitor center now. Then we're gonna head over and do these two trails. Follow this all the way around until we get to here. And I think that's where I'll see the crocodiles. And then it's back out and on the onto the keys.
That must be who Mather Point is named after. I'm going to have to look that up to see if I'm right. Darn, I just missed the ranger guided walk. Holy moly, I can't get over how clear the water is. Okay, friends, I just got out of the visitor center, and of course I went crazy. I got my pin. Sorry, I wasn't trying to flick you guys off. I got my sticker for my water bottle. I got my map so that I know where I'm going and my pin for above my visor, which I still don't think I've shown you guys yet. I'll show you that later. Oh, and how freaking cute is a spoonbill? Dare to be different. And then one of my favorite people. I mean, I'm a sucker. You get me with one of my favorite quotes and a bird I love? Forget it. I'm getting it obviously. Okay. Oh, and masks are required again. Um, it is August, the end of August, 2022. And that's it. We're ready for the entrance gate and actually go in now that I got all of the souvenirs saying I did, but I knew I would forget on the way out. So we're going to hit a couple trails. It's hot as hell already. And that's it. I think we're ready to do this. All right. See you at the next spot. I am so glad I have this smoothie right now. Also, I'm glad I did it as a smoothie instead of a shake, because I don't think all that milk would have sat well with me right now. short because whoo, we're pretty much just driving to see if we spot any wildlife, do the overlooks, and then try to look for crocodiles because it's too hot for anything else. It's like already over 90, but with the humidity and the feel like, it's about 100. So we are good. Egret hunting. All right, Royal Palm Visitor Center in a quarter mile. That's where the two trailheads are that we're going to do um, the Anhinga Trail and the Gumbo Limbo Trail. Probably just going to see like gators and Anhinga and stuff like that, but that's cool. Let's see what we see. Oh, 
Oh, there's another Panther Crossing sign again. Just mocking me. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. This is the little turnout road for the visitor center and trailheads. And then it, I believe going straight, that's just the main road that dead ends at Flamingo and at Florida Bay. And there's nowhere else to go. So <laughs> at least in this park, I don't have to worry about getting lost or having a good sense of direction, right? I know my mom, especially, is not thrilled about the idea of me being solo in the Everglades. So, you know, at least it won't be getting lost, knock on wood, <laughs> that does me in here. Might be a crocodile or an alligator, but hopefully it won't be getting lost. I saw two crocodiles. 
I saw one poke its little snoot. I say little. It was probably like maybe eight or nine feet if I had to guess. Um, poked its little snoot out of the mangroves for like just a, I mean like I saw it and I got so excited and I just fired off a few shots, adjusted my setting, fired off a few more and then it slowly sunk down into the water and disappeared because a boat had come. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I, I gave up. I started to walk back to Tara and I said, okay, one more time, I'm going to give it a go. I'm just going to stand here for five more minutes on the dock and if it doesn't come back, it doesn't come back. What are you going to do? At least I got to see it. Like that's what I was telling myself. At least I got to see one for a half a second. Well, I'm sitting there waiting for it to reappear in the mangroves and glance down as another one that was, I'm not exaggerating y'all, this one was like at least 12 feet, at, at least, it was for sure over 11, like 100% for sure, over 11 feet. This thing literally rose up from out of the water, like I could just see the shape the whole body rising up, came up out of the water like 10 feet in front of me maybe, maybe more than that, maybe I'm just in my, ex no more than 20 feet, it was between 10 and 20 feet in front of my freaking face, <laughs> I was standing on the dock and it rose up and then the other one that I had been waiting for came out and oh my god my neck is twitching I'm so excited <laughs> this is gonna be the most boring story for you guys but I'm so excited I can't help myself so freaking yeah two crocodiles face to face I only caught like a three second clip of it because I just was not prepared and in my I was so excited I accidentally clicked off instead of letting it continue and then the other one had disappeared by then so I managed to snap a few shots of it staring right freaking at me so I'm going to show you the little clip that I managed to get and then the shots that I got of the big one and then he just stared at me floated a couple feet in my direction and then just disappeared down into the depths. I'm, if I would have gotten the whole thing on video, it would have been so cool, but I can't believe that I saw it and let alone got anything to show you guys. So I'm so excited. Okay, here it is. Initially, my plan was to stop at the Gator Grill for lunch, but it's already 2.30 and it's going to be another three hours before I get to where I need to check in. So, since I'm not really that hungry after having that big smoothie and then I kind of picked out on potato chips while I was driving to Flamingo. So I think I might skip lunch since I kind of had brunch and just have an early dinner and just head straight there in case I hit traffic. Um, the weather looks kind of iffy anyways and I'm really not hungry so I don't want to eat there just because I feel like I have to. Ugh. I don't know. We'll see once I get there. I have to pass by it anyways. So TBD. Okay, so that was Robert is here, check. Everglades, check. We're gonna skip Everglades Grill because I'm just not hungry right now and traffic is getting way worse. It went from saying I was gonna be there at 5 p.m. to 4 a.m. and now we're back down to 10.30 p.m. So, we're all over the place right now. We 
we will see what time I end up actually getting to our destination. It looks like we may be in for a longer drive than I thought at this point. So, fingers crossed. I'll check in with you when I know more. But I am going to be getting gas soon regardless, and I am going to need to pee soon. So, hopefully I'll have better news then. officially in the Keys. I think I'm still in Key Largo. I might already be in a different one. I don't know. Um, but anyhow, I'm getting so, so, so excited to check in to Bahia Honda and get out and actually see the water for myself and I'm, I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling the vibes. I'm, I'm relaxed. I feel much calmer than I have in a few weeks. Um, this last week was really a rough one for me mentally. Um, I'm just so sick of doctor's appointments, to be honest, and I still have so many to go. Oh my gosh, I'm in Isla Mirada right now, I think so. I just got my first glimpse of the water up close. I mean, from the car still in the highway. Oh my God, it's... The color is just... I'm, I'm like speechless right now. I don't know if you can see it because I have my eyes straight ahead of me right now. what the camera is seeing but I hope you guys are getting this color and that you can get some hint of it from here because the turquoises and the teal to 
big pine key where I'm planning on spending most of my time unless I get really bored and want to venture elsewhere tomorrow, which I doubt. Because I just want to take in the nature of it. I want to see the key deer. I want to take in kind of like the wildlife nature aspect versus like the party kind of nightlife social aspect. So I won't be able to give you the full flavor of the keys this time, but I can tell you I'll definitely be back because like I said, I was totally wrong about, I think actually at one point sometime back, I remember, oh look, there's Fred, there's Fred. Oh, I got it on camera. Do you guys see him? I didn't think I was going to get to film him. Hi, Fred. <laughs> you guys, this is what it would be like to travel with me, so it's probably good that I'm solo. <laughs> I'm always like, look, a squirrel. Look, a squirrel. I don't even remember what I was saying before I saw Fred. I got so distracted and excited. But yeah, anyways, I think at one point in my life, I remember saying like, I think I'll be fine if I go my whole life without ever visiting the Keys. Like I'm in Central Florida, I'm close enough to plenty of beautiful beaches. This is just different, you guys. really wish you could see everything I'm seeing right now, but you can't. So I'm going to shut up. I'll see you at Bahia Honda. We made it. Do you see that water? Ah! <laughs> All right, time to check in. BRB. I think this is a curly-tailed lizard, I'm pretty sure. We made it! That's actually going to be my sight tomorrow night, I'm so excited.